thank you for tuning in and welcome to Hobby Tips. Today we're gonna make another tin can project, but this time it won't just be a fast and simple silo. This time we're gonna make what I've chosen to call an uh, industrial crow's nest. And um, the inspiration came from that Shadow War Armageddon or Imperial Industrial Scenery Kit that pretty much looks like a tin can with a lid on it. I'll put up a picture so you know what I'm talking about. Unlike the silo, we are not trying to do it as fast as possible this time, so this video will be a two-parter. Starting with the tin can and a lid from a Nescafe instant coffee jar, which happens to fit quite well on top of it. Quite well. Like that. Gonna take some... Uh, White glue, wood glue, PVA glue, call it what you want. And a brush that have seen better days. Like so. So, next, I've cut uh, a paint stick into four little pieces. And paint sticks, uh, you know, the ones from uh, yeah, from paint stores and uh, hardware stores, when you buy paint, they usually give you a bunch of them for free. Often you can even just walk in, buy a can of primer and ask if you can have some paint sticks, because primer is paint. At least that's what I do. Put some glue and there, there and there, so that when we stick it in here... Whoop. And it's likely you find that it'll be pushed out by the the pressure. So once you add it all four, I suggest either holding on to them or put a rubber band tied around to keep them in place. And luckily this glue is not fast drying, so you have some working time. Almost dry, or rather almost holding itself. This one bothers me a bit, but not enough, so not enough that we can't go on. Next, I've cut out uh, another little piece, and that's to place on one of them, like this. And that's because I want a ladder going down, and I want it to end somewhere. So I'll just add that one now, so the glue have plenty of time to settle. And now it's just a matter of patience, because we don't want the glue to, uh, uh, we don't want the wet white glue and the paint sticks to uh, mess around when we add the next thing. So once this base structure is fully dry, we'll go on. Now I'm gonna take eight straws and pair them in twos. And just like we did on the tin can silo, gonna take some thin uh, masking tape to uh, to hold them together because that turned out to look pretty good. Just be sure that the little end piece of the masking tape is on the same side because we want that side to be facing our structure <laughs> uh, or our silo. As you can probably hear, it's wonderful Danish summer. Has been pretty much raining since we started Ashes of Forsumgard. So, like this, and then I'll cut them, say, somewhere around here. And I'll make four of these. Uh, to put in the corners of our uh, of our silo uh, crow's nest industrial right. thingy. Oh, I put a little uh, piece of uh, leftover MDF from an MDF kit here just to uh, give this one some stability. And now we're ready to add straws. Again, white glue will do just fine. Just on the side where you have the masking tape ending. Put a healthy amount of glue on and bum, 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 bum. Then put it in each of the corners. Like this. Like 
So, already starting to look more interesting than uh, than just a tin can. Next up, I made a bunch of these ladders from some uh, leftover uh, MDF sprue back when I, I was getting ready for Ashes of Awesome God. And I figured one of them could, would serve pretty well here. So, <clears throat> some more dry time, and I suggest having it upside down because it's much easier to uh, to see what's going on if anything is slipping or moving out of order. Right, <clears throat> it's dry enough that we dare work a little more on it, and uh, now we have a pretty nice basic piece of scenery. You could just paint it here, of course, but as uh, I promised earlier, we're gonna add some uh, some bits and pieces to it. So this Nescafe logo is not very grim dark, so we're gonna take this piece from the industrial scenery, one of the industrial scenery sprues, and uh, remove these little doodads so it can sit nice and tight over here and hide the original Next, I'm gonna grab one of these. You could have them all the way around, but I want to be able to connect walkways and stuff, so I'm just gonna put one on the opposite side of the ladder. Now I'll uh, add some smoke launches from the Rhino Sprue. Uh, Several Space Marine vehicles have these, I believe, and I never use as many as they provide uh, because I don't think they look very good on the vehicles, but I think they will look awesome down here as some sort of exhaust him magic. and a pair of searchlights, also from the Rhino Sprue. And for these, to make them fit, I'm gonna cut off the front little leg thingy. And the lamps uh, in these also look exactly like the ones on the other industrial scenery from Games Workshop, so that's a pretty, great little piece to add to uh, to make it fit in. And if you look on the Rhino's Brew, there's also uh, tons of other little doodads, and the same goes for most vehicle sprues. Uh, so when scratch building terrain, always check out your, uh, your old vehicle sprues, and for that matter also other sprues there are it's a treasure trove of useful little stuff that gives that extra detail to make it fit in with your models so with that we have i think a pretty sweet piece of scenery there is room for plenty of more details and we're going to add those in part two i want to make it so that you can connect this to promethium pipelines because that would make it even more, uh, feel like an even more genuine piece. I want more details in this platform. Nice flat surfaces here to add decoration and uh, more technic doodads. Uh, and obviously in episode two, we'll also uh, get it painted. 
So um, check back next week for that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found some of the tips useful. And uh, take care and bye bye. And with that, it's a matter of patience, um, because we don't want the the paint sticks to uh, wobble around when we add the next part. So, and with that, it's a matter of patience. <laughs>